Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. Ha. Huh. Big day today. So I think this is the first time I've been recording since uh, the acquisition of Mojang by Microsoft. My personal opinion, I hope it's good. I don't see it as being good. It rarely ever is with Microsoft. Um, so we'll see. See how it goes and play it by ear. So, that aside, okay. So I added some more um, glowstone up here because um, I took down these, these uh, notches that were in here. Glowstone nooks, notches, nooks, I think. Nooks, yeah. I don't know what happened to my cactus. My cactus was there and it kind of disappeared. Um, this guy's going pretty good. I left it on wood for a while. As you can see, I got a bit of wood. Now I'm collecting some um, leaves. Now I've got, what, one, two, three, four stacks of oak saplings. So that'll run for a while. I've got a safety net just in case I forget about it of 10 saplings in here. Um, so I made some grass and um, I did some harvesting with bone meal and my maddock so I got a bunch of um, saplings and I got a bunch of seeds uh, my biggest one I got I was able to get the soy seed um, and I was able to get peanut seeds so I've got both of those so there's another peanut seed which I don't need I think I can change these back can I change them back no oh, well Okay, so I got extra seeds then now. Um, then I've got some grape, raspberry, I got like five different types of fruits that I can make into jellies and make some peanut butter jelly sandwiches. And so that's um, what we're set up to set up today. That's what we're set up to set up to set up today. <laughs> okay, so, oh, and I did die. Um, I had a super fast... Um, or is it almost nighttime? I wanted to show you something. No, we got. Let me show you. Let me show you this real quick, so I can go back inside and not worry about the night. So I made a squid farm, and as you can see, it's doing quite well. <laughs> we got like three seeds up there, like four seeds. Now I didn't plant those; those just kind of ended up there. And um, so, but yeah, you can see I have a few um, inks. If I don't die. Up, 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 up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, so I just used um, the it's a vacuum hopper. It only has a certain distance, so I used the conveyors down there to move the items closer. And since they're full blocks. Um, they don't allow and they're right under the there's only one space between the block and the water which is being pushed by the which is being protected by the the sign and then it gets I'm missing a sign right there aren't I I'm missing two signs oh I wonder if oh no wonder <laughs> Ah, stupid. Uh. So much for mob griefing. The tiny explosions, apparently. So the mobs end up getting down there. It's kind of annoying. And they don't um, respect um, some of the items. I guess uh, signs are not respected for mob griefing, too. So... Um, I guess I'll have to fix that. But the conveyors move the... So squids spawn. They end up in the one high space area. They dry dock and, and die. And then the vacuum hopper picks it all up. Okay, so that's that. I did a bunch of new stuff offline. Um, just trying to do different stuff. So I rearranged down here. Um, I increased the size. It's now 
So I got room to put more storage over here and then I can go over there and over there as well. And I think it looks nice. I moved the food over to here and I added uh, spider egg stuff. Squid plant. Okay, so these squid plants that say uh, soil, dirt, and grass, uh, you cannot plant those. So just toss them on the ground for a few seconds. Bring them back up and they should stack. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So that's all that, and then move the stairs, and then here's my office now, my, my room, my bedroom. Um, got a bed, got a, a table, um, a desk with a chair, and that's one of my um, piloting chairs. And that's the bookshelf that came with, uh, that we started out with, and then I've got two chests here with, this is these are the two chests that were next to my, they were basically my foot lockers. So. I think this looks kind of cool. I like the design. Um, these are covers, so it's it's not this stone. It's this stone up here with um, as covers, so it adds a um, so instead of having a multi-block, no connected texture. That's the term. Instead of having a connected texture, it keeps each block separate, so it adds like a different. It adds a different texture look to it, and um, so that's a cover. And then I've got some nooks in there to keep that area lit up, just in case I didn't have enough light. But that's this area here. Um, okay, moving back here. So I closed that off because I took all that stuff out and put it upstairs. Let me pop that bad boy on. Do some gravel. I had I had a full barrel full of gravel. It's crazy. Okay, so I cleared this out. This is where we're going to put our automated farm. And this isn't your typical automated farm where you just let things grow until you have the harvester pick up. This one will have one of each type that I want to manage. And it will create a, it'll make sure it'll have that number of items in stock. So, um, like peanuts. If I give it a stack size of say 32, it'll always have 32 in stock. If it runs out, then it'll make more. So it'll try to keep 32 in stock at all times using bone meal and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I think that's all the new stuff. But yeah, so here's all the stuff that... Um, what is... Something's missing that's not good that is not good at all uh, one two three four five six seven eight uh-oh I hope something didn't disappear on me. Okay, give me a minute. Let me see if I can figure out what it is, and then we'll start getting set up. All right, guys, we're back. So <laughs> I'm a derp. I was trying to figure out what I had here because I know I had something there and um, couldn't figure out what it was. Well, I figured out what it was. It was an energy cell that I put over here to charge. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. So the first thing I want to do is we need to go over the quest book because there's a lot of stuff in here that we got completed. Uh, first we'll start with basic survival. So I ended up finally making some printed circuit boards. And with this one, I'm going with a slime plant seed because um, that's probably the only way we're going to get slime in here. Um, I have plenty of rubber tree seeds and I have plenty of redstone, so I'm going to claim that. Um, okay, so under pressure, uh, we got all the way down here. I built, um, so I made it, let's see, step one, step two, yeah, an empty PCB. Um, I went over some of the stuff I did. Now to, in order to make the other PCB, is that 
this one. No, etching bucket, turn etching bucket in. Get another printed circuit board. Oh yeah, last step. You're supposed to make a printed circuit board. And I went ahead and did that. And then I also made, so in here, they ask you to make a charging station, a pneumatic wrench, a GPS tool, and an air cannon. And, ooh, we get all three of these. Wow, we get a lot of printed circuit boards for this. This is pretty cool. Ooh, item life. Sweet. You know where that's going. That's going right here. Can I detect... Uh, there's this one here. Oh, no, they want you to create these. <laughs> I'm wondering if there's more recipes down here. But when I... So when I completed this one... Um, not actually... Um, before I actually accepted it. It actually looks like it unlocked technological revolution. Now this one is make a... So I've done... I've had a machine frame before and that's where I got that. Oh, and this is where I get another machine frame. So what I want to do is um, get another machine frame to make a harvester. So I need to make a PRC LX100 logic expansion card. So let's see. Oh, uh, PR, was it PRX, PLX, card, there we go, PRC, okay, so we want the 100, so that's this guy here, so I need some plastic with some redstone around, um, let's see, I got two circuit boards, so let's see if we got some plastic, I may have some up here, I have three I need four well I can cook up one more of these actually you know what I'm gonna cook up all of these 18 16 um, do I have no what about you um, you have that but I don't want to use well oh yeah here we go haha <laughs> huzzah let me get, let me grab one of these. Actually, let me grab these. Um, yeah, there we go. I grabbed an upgrade, I think that's why I don't. Okay. So here we need this guy and bam. Oh, I did, I had plastic sheets already? Oh, I'm. What? Did I get plastic sheets? Yeah, okay, I got plastic sheets for that. Oh, that's cool. This is what it takes to make a circuit board, kind of. You need three transistors, three capacitors, plus the PCB. And then, um. To make what we're making now requires. Um plastic sheets okay so we're making this um, let's see technological revolution okay so we're getting this and I'm gonna do the invar because the electrons pretty easy to make um, invar is a little more complicated and I don't need as much electrum I think yeah because the invar requires nickel whereas electrum is just um, like silver and gold I think not a big deal and I get a machine frame out of it Let's see what do we got here oh I already made a tin upgrade and they want a precision sledgehammer that's like five rubber I get some invar uh, another expansion card and a rubber bar hmm I wonder if I have to do more things uh, machine basics they want a pulverizer redstone furnace energetic infuser and an auto packager <laughs> I was watching uh, either I think it was either purple mint at I think it's purple mint at or maybe one of the other guys but he said yeah they're still trying to pawn off the auto packager on us so I guess we're gonna have to finally make one 
Uh, and then an Emmy. I guess we should have grabbed the Emmy chest. Um, oh well, whatever. Um, we'll just make one and that'll be fine. And then these two guys, I don't really need to make. I don't really need to make. I do need to get these. Um, they're not too bad. Oh, I need yellow dye, I think, is what I needed. I didn't have that. Let's check out this guy. And so, Ender Generator, not going to happen. Uh, this guy... This one will definitely do probably next episode. So that would be a grinder and a reactant dynamo, and we'll set up a, a mob farm for that. Um, this, on the other hand, I can do this right now because I'm curious what this next quest is. So let's try that right now. Um, what did I need? A bottle and a lead stone. I got a, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Uh, I've got a leadstone one over here. I've used some of it. <sighs> I hope it doesn't have to be full. Um, and I have a water bottle already. So let's see where are we at. It says don't lose this. So um, I have to manually submit. Okay. What do we get here? And they want us to make a glacial precipitator. Seriously? A high golem? What's a high golem? Do I want to know? A snowball and a water bottle will give you cold water. Useful if you get overheated. Okay. Oh, and it gives me four cold. Oh, four cold water bottles. That's kind of cool. So glacial precipitator. So that's glacial precipitator machine frame. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's why you need you need the two snow. <laughs> that's what they mean by don't lose it. <laughs> All right, uh, that's going in this chest. <laughs> that's too funny. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just hilarious. I always, I always find that funny. Oh, and I made a new apple tree. He's kind of more centered now. Yes. Oh. Um. Oh, this guy's good. Okay. He, and he's lower, which I like too. Uh, and I put a. Hey, that's that's a. That's what neon, I guess. Glowstone, neon, glowstone. I don't know. It's it's the neon uh, chisel. Grab these, put these downstairs for more food. Okay, so now we're gonna set up this guy over here. Um, let's see, let's put these guys. Uh, let me clean up my inventory, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm finishing up running the power line to the harvester and this is where I get to now you can see six more because I just made them but what are the odds I made like I just took a random number and I was like I hope this is enough I was short by one how often does that happen all the flipping time <laughs> isn't it ironic Okay, guys. So, uh, so I got that down, and uh, that guy's run over here. Let's. Okay, so. Uh, so I got some cobblestone. Fill this in, and I can uh, fill the rest in with sand or dust. There we go. And let us get rid of. Um, let's get rid of those. Right. Oh, oh, we need that. Okay, so this guy's gonna go here. Um, we are going to accept energy, transmit energy. Okay. 
and then the chest is going to have to go right there or on top, maybe on top. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is run inventory cable, and I hope I have enough. Um, so I'm going to come under here. Do I want to come up one there? No, I want to come up one right there. I think it's right there. Yeah, because we come all the way back here. And then... So if the harvester's right here, this guy goes... Okay, so these guys are in the way. So what's going to happen is, so dude's going to be right there, so yeah. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. There and... <laughs> I'm way short on inventory cable. Um, actually, yeah, I'm really short on inventory cable. So let me do one side real quick and show you what I got going on. So if you saw my video that I put out, I just put a video out not too long ago. Um, no, that's right. That's right. My bad. So that's right there. So this guy's going to come up and over. And I need a bunch of hoppers as well. I forgot about that. Um, so we've got some block detectors and some block gates. Now, block detectors, one of those is going to go right there. A block gate is going to go there. And then um, let's put... Um, Let's use cobblestone. I'm going to use cobblestone because um, I want to get this uh, pick up to see what we got. So we got one block gate here. Now this block gate is um, targeting this dirt block that's going to be here. So let's put that dirt block there. So I need some dirt. Dirt McGirt. Okay, so dirt's going to be right here. So I need to have one, two, three, four, five. Um, actually, let's put it on the other side. So I'm going to put the water right here. And then um, I can put... Hey, I got two of these. Perfect. So, put one right there, and oh, right. one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh, one, two, four, five. Oh, I need to fill this in. That's what I need to do. That's why that's funky. Um, okay, so this will be the access point for that. So, let's see block gates. I have enough block gates to... Oh, I don't know if I put them up there, that's for sure. Okay, so block gates are going to go two, three, four, two, three, four. On top of these are going to be hoppers. I need to get a lot more inventory cable. Oh, I used a bunch to make those too. So let's see here. Two, three, four, and two, three, four, four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thing of water here. It'll be exposed, but um, it'll keep all these, all this dirt hydrated. There, 
And there. So this top is going to come over. Yeah. So this top is going to come over all the way out. So let's see, let's get rid of this because that's annoying. Um, let's see, can I put... Okay, so Harvester's going to be there. I can put the chest here because I'll have a, th a thing there. Um, an inventory cable there. So let me go make some more inventory cable. Well, actually, I can do... There, that's that one. Let's block gates. Well, I need more inventory cable anyway to finish this up. So let me go get some more inventory cable. Um, let me make... I'll need a chest. Um, It'll probably end up being this chest here. Uh, maybe a bigger chest. I might upgrade it. So I should be able to access... I think those are the only block detectors I have. No, I don't want that. Trigger. Uh, date detectors one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six block update detectors. Well, I've got two upstairs. Okay. For the tree farm. Okay, so let me get some more invent inventory cable. And, um, oh, we want to make, uh, let's make this real quick. I'll get moving here in a sec. And I'll fill that in while we're while I'm doing that. But harvester. Da, 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 da. No. What? What did I do wrong? Invar axe. Oh and oh dang it. <laughs> okay. So I'll get an Envoir Axe and I'll fix that and get a Harvester going and I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and we're about to start programming our stuff. So first one I'm gonna put I'm gonna put soybean there, peanut. Uh, let's see. Let's put strawberry. And actually, I'm gonna put rice there. Where'd you go? Oh, okay. Strawberry there. Okay, and then the other side, I'm gonna stick the other ones. So we got raspberry, cranberry, blackberry, and grape. So we got five different jellies we can make. Um, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to add, um, over here, I'm going to add a sugar cane farm. And what that means is I'm just going to cut this row down and this row. And I will put a cover over that row. And then I'll lay some water down on the other side and then put um, sugar cane on this side. Now that should be the extent of the tin upgrade. So there's room over here to do stuff, but I could make a sugar cane there and there, but I don't think we need that much sugar cane. Um, I won't be going through the food that quickly. Um, one of the things we need to do is, um, so there'll be a group of things that we'll need to do. So let's go ahead and start with um, our soybean crop. Now we need to figure out where all this stuff is. So the block detector 
Um, so let's see here. Let's start a new page. We're on the site. So soybean. Um, is that so block detector? Um, and then block gates. We'll block gate and then hopper. Because we're putting the 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 block detectors at 191 to 26. 191 to 26. And then what we're gonna have is 225 for the and then uh, 223 is what it should be here. Yeah, 223. So that's the soy. So once these all get in, I won't be able to go right here and drop down. So that's why I have these little ladder things here, or the step downs. So then we have peanut. at 192 and then rice at 193 and then strawberry at 194 and then the other the other values will match up. Oh, and then we need to make sure we are facing south. Okay, so let's go program this. Uh, you're right here. Okay. So let's go back to making food. Um, let's make one calling, we're going to call this manage crops. Put that right there. Uh, start off with soy. Then we need, um, oh, so with the trigger, we're going to have a block update, update detectors. We want 191 to 26. That one. Oh, I've got a lot of block update detectors. I've got two upstairs, and then I've got these three. Well, one, one, two, three, two upstairs. I wonder what the other one's for. I don't remember what I had that set up as. 54. Where is that at? It's around here somewhere. Is that over here? No. I don't know. I have no clue where I put it. <laughs> oh well. That's funny. Okay. Okay, so we have that detector. Um, update side, we want uh, south. And then we want um, air block. So then from there we want a create an input. We're going to go inventories, um, 
I'm going to put these in food storage. Items. We're going to pull a soy seed. We're going to pull one. And we are going to send it. I keep calling block gates block detector or block detectors block gates. I did that in the tutorial. <laughs> I'm kind of frustrated about that. Probably should have went and redid it. Okay, so block gates. Um, we need the one at 191, 225. 191, 227, 225. That's the one I need. Whitelist. Soy. One, okay. Then we're going to want another input. And an output. So the input is going to be the barrels. We want bone meal. And we want two bone meal. And the output is going to be hoppers. Now the hopper we want at 191, 223. 191, 223. And then whitelist. Two. Okay. Uh, one more thing I forgot was the condition. So we want to create a condition. Inventory. Uh, food storage. Item is soybean. No. Yes. No, that's not this one. Um, oh, okay. No, I figured out where that's at. That's that goes. Um, okay, so this specifies how many we want. Um, oh, no, we don't want this. We want a soy bean, the actual bean. And here we're going to go 32, so half stack. And then the reason for this one is we want to, if we have enough, we don't want to bone meal it. We just want to let it sit. So if false, we want to send bone meal out. But if we detect an air block, it means we need to replant a soybean. So we're going to go ahead and on high pulse do that. OK, so let's grab some bone meal after I grab some water. And some food. Um, let's see here. So let's grab some of that. Go down here. Go. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to be able to convert these back to seeds. So that's the other thing we need to do. 
Okay, so we need another trigger. And this one is, then we need a conditional. We need an input. Um, a crafting block and an output. I wonder what the max number of commands are. <laughs> okay, so we're going to look in uh, the food storage. We are looking for soybeans, soybean seeds. Oh, wait, the condition we need 16. And then we're going to pull from the food storage soybeans, soybeans. We're going to craft it into a seed. Nope. There. And then we're going to send it out to the food storage chest. Actually, here you can go. You can set that to 16. You don't need this. Forgot about that. Okay. So let's see. All right, so oh, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Okay. So harvester should pick that up. Oh, it hit me. Let's let that go. Come on, harvester. Oh, are you? You're growing, right? Oh, it's a big, yeah, it's a nine, nine by nine area. Why are you throwing multiple seeds around? I didn't do the wrong one again, did I? I got three. I'm getting seeds. I'm not sure where they're going. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Maybe that's why I have the. Uh, um. Huh. I didn't think I'd need a... I wasn't using one before. All right, let me debug this a little bit. Um, it's not, it's nowhere near different from what I was doing before. So it doesn't really make sense as to what's going on. Blockades. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I guess that's what happens when you make assumptions that everything works the same. So out of all the, the ones that I picked up, um, these four here, 
Well, for one, it's not a two-click um, maturity, so that's going to cause problems. So what I can do with these is I can just set these. Um, if I I can actually make two rows of let's see, so one. One, two, three, one, two, no, I just need, I can only make one row. So I'm going to clean this row out and add some more of these. So these don't actually get harvested completely when um, they reach max maturity. Um, the other ones that are no longer there do. The other problem that's kind of funky is um, with soybeans, <laughs> Uh, for some reason, it's dropping an asparagus seed when it harvests. So here, watch this. So let's plant this uh, soybean seed. And this might almost be more trouble than what it's worth, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so when it comes around, so I've got nothing in my inventory, right? Eat some more spider eye soup. Apparently, it's good. Lots of protein. Is it one and a half? Yeah. We'll max it out. Yeah, see, check this out. It's an asparagus seed. So, I don't know what's up with that. Um, obviously, that's not supposed to happen, but I'm not sure what's causing it because I did this in um, my test world and it works fine. I don't know if it's the length the direction that it's harvesting could be all kinds of different things um, but yeah so that's crazy anyway we're completely out of time I think we're pretty way over alright guys thanks again for stopping by I do appreciate it if you enjoyed the episode let me know leave a like or comment below and if you didn't let me know what I can do to improve so we can all have a better time alright guys take care and have a good one